Okay, so what we'll do is we will end up mounting this inside of this void right here. Okay, and as you can see, try to put a little bit more light on here. So as you can see, more than likely going to have to Dremel uh, this top portion right here. Dremel that down um, so that you get the correct thread protrusion. Um, and I'll probably use a little silicone to hold that down. Uh, in position, but once you cut that tab off, you can see that you'll have plenty of uh, thread for your uh, antenna. Um, and uh, once you disconnect the original line, uh, which is right here, uh, you'll have to snake that out uh, and just uh, throw it away because essentially you don't need it anymore. Once you dremel off this top piece, uh, this antenna will no longer work uh, the way it was designed to work on this uh, housing. So uh, once you Dremel that down, uh, there's no turning back, but uh, I don't see why you would want to uh, turn back. But um, once you use uh, the new TP-Link antennas, um, or antenna, you know, I think you'll be happy. I'm using these on my repeater and uh, these are, uh, I believe these are 5 dBi antennas, and I ordered an 8 dBi for the uh, transmitter. Um, so that will, uh, that will connect uh, to the transmitter. I'll show you that, uh, that fit up again here. Essentially, what you'll have is You'll have that sitting there, and then once you get the trend, the, the uh, back of the uh, cover back on, uh, I'll probably have this held in place with a little bit of silicone, uh, silicone or hot glue on the bottom side of it, uh, inside that little void. And then uh, once you put the cover on, and then put the uh, washer and uh, nut, uh, you should have uh, a nice tight fit for your antenna. Next video, I'll show how I uh, take the silicone out uh, and uh, remove the uh, mini uh, connector from the uh, from the board.